Hey, hey, welcome to Channel Rock Aritaville. I'm your hostess, L. Rock, and we are doing a weekly reading for Pisces. Um, did a pre shuffle, and cards are already starting to fly out, so patience. And we're going to do the spread, we're going to do past, present, and future. This is a general reading for Pisces. Uh, what that means is, is this is just collective energy and it's tapping into a specific timeline. We're looking for the week ahead. So this is for sun, moon, and rising sign for Pisces. And um, as always, if the messages don't resonate, um, then this may not be the reading for you. So go ahead and check your sun, moon, and rising um, on the channel and see if there's a message there for you. So messages for the week ahead for Pisces. Sorry. Patience came out first. Pisces, week ahead. Grape Jelly Dragon, childlike. Oh, this came out in the pre-shuffle as well. Um, the Carrot Dragon. Observe. Bottom of the deck is the Eggplant Dragon. Let's see if I can turn on a light here. Um, oh, my battery's low and I can't do my light. Okay. Let's see if I can get a little bit more light on here. All right, so in your past, you've had to be patient, and in your present, you're being asked um, to step into a more childlike state of being, um, more pleasure, things that are kind of digging into, oh, I would say your essential self, um, that part of you that that probably gets kind of shoved in the background by being an adult. Um, so, and then under observe, um, I would guess you probably have some decisions that you're making or something happening where it's best just to kind of sit back and observe what's going on. Um, I was about ready to say whatever it is, it requires patience, but you received the patience card here. So the avocado dragon. So whatever you're observing, be patient with yourself um, all in due time. In the meantime, you're being called to just have some fun um, to release and let go. What do we have um, for Pisces for the week ahead? Pisces for the week ahead. Past energies for Pisces for the week ahead. Past influencing energies. Hmm. Strength and patience. So whatever happened um, in your past definitely required um, a great deal of fortitude, patience, and strength on your part. What else do we have from Tower for Past Energies? Oh, you had a tower. So the foundations, the structures um, came down. And what I'm getting with this, with the mermaids, dear Pisces, um, the, what I see here is this merman, um, the way the art speaks to me is that he's diving down to try to get pieces of the structure to rebuild. So um, whatever that was in your past, that was your tower card. Let's see, am I gonna, can I get everything in here? And the tower is gonna be different for all of you. It was um, whatever your tower was, it was probably something that was 
maybe a little bit on the painful side, um, but towers can also be really good. I'm guessing with the strength and patience, though, that um, whatever it was, was probably a little bit on the dramatic side. What else do we have for past energies? And the Queen of Wands, um, she came out sideways, and in the pre-shuffle, the Queen of Wands also came out in reverse. Um, so let's do it both ways. The Queen of Wands upright is passionate. Um, she is in a deep foundation in the reverse position. Her passion and her fire, that internal fire that drives her towards the excellence that she is, um, can be turned either on yourself or on herself or on somebody else. So the queen of wands is a little bit sideways. I think that, um, this is, this is you, um, Pisces in, in so much that you're, you've been in both positions. You've been the queen of wands in reverse and you've been the queen of wands upright. So you've been transiting in and out of those, those energies. And I imagine, you know, the queen of wands in reverse can be mm, a little forward and passionate in their communication. And, um, so, you know, with strength and patience, whatever this tower was that came down for you, um, probably the queen of wands has been in and out of balance. And so you've been learning how to harness that strength, um, where you can, you know, pet the lion and in this picture, scratch that lion under the chin and really create an environment that's, that's strong and safe that even in energies that might be clashing, you can still find peace there with that strength card. So whatever happened with that tower in the past, um, it took a lot of, a lot of effort and strength and perseverance from you. What do we have current energy for Pisces? Childlike, grape jelly dragon. Oh man, I felt the energy shift. Um, current energies. Uh oh. Childlike with the three of swords. So maybe a little bit of heartbreak or disappointment here. Defend this came out in the pre-shuffle as well. The seven of wands. Um, what came through in the pre-shuffle with this is um how deeply he's defending his hive, right? So whatever this hive represents for you, whether that's your home maybe a financial investment, maybe it's a project, whatever it is, you're defending your position on it. Um, and those involved with the hive. So, um, you're standing your ground over something that's been disappointing or heartbreaking. Perhaps this is, um, an energy of somebody here who's been childlike and, um, perhaps has brought about some energies that has, that have been less than uh, desirable. What do we have for current energy? Uh, two cards fell out. The world and the four of cups. So in your current energy, um, you have completions and new beginnings. So whatever this was up here, this tower that required so much fortitude from you. Um, there was disappointment and there was heartbreak. You had to defend your position. And all of that is coming to a close now with the world card here. And um, you're stuck. So whatever it is that life in the, in the universe or the divine is trying to bring in for you, um, you're, not, you're not seeing it. Um, you're focused here. You have a gift coming in. Perhaps you're living in past energies and remembering everything that it took to get through whatever this past event was for you that you were growing through. And now you might be a little bit stuck in some old energies that aren't really serving you. There's a gift here for you. Um, and it's, it's waiting for you to look up. So <clears throat> definitely in those current energies, um, I would say there's still some residual or some carryover from whatever this tower is. 
And um, if you weren't dealing with a childlike person and childlike does include children. So um, if you had to defend your position, maybe being a disciplinarian during this time of coronavirus and having to set hard boundaries and, and find that, that inner perseverance and strength for yourself. Um, but you know, it's always a great reminder that if this isn't somebody younger than you or your child or somebody acting like a child, that the essence of who you truly are ultimately is what you're going to stand for. Um, you're going to always want to find that joy for yourself as well. Um, so carrot dragon, um, we have observe in the future. What are our future energies? The knight of wands. So we still have some, some of that passionate energy. Um, somebody younger than you. Uh, both of the wands, um, also take place in the desert here. You've got the pyramids, both on the knight of wands, um, as well as the queen. So, um, perhaps this is romance. Perhaps, um, this knight of wands is a child. Um, it does indicate somebody younger than you. We do have a younger energy coming through. What else do we have for future energies for Pisces? Uh, so six of cups in reverse. So definitely somebody younger than you. Um, the six of cups in reverse is, um, relationships or companionships. And in the reverse position, um, that maybe you're a little bit disillusioned. Um, I feel like this, this observe card with the carrot dragon, it has to do with whoever your knight of wands is. So a masculine energy. I'm not necessarily a man, but these flowers, when, when the six of cups is in reverse, it, it insinuates that everything in the cups is falling out, right? So all of these, all of these flowers and all of these things that you've planted, um, are in jeopardy of kind of being lost. So whatever it is right now, it is a time for you to observe whatever's doesn't feel right about the six of cups in reverse with your knight of wands. Um, one more card for Pisces for future energies. All right. And the four of pentacles. So really, um, hanging on to something guarding your heart. Um, Perhaps, perhaps your tower was the ending of an old relationship, um, perhaps romantic, and that there's somebody new coming in from your past and you're feeling a little bit protective. On the bottom of the deck, we have the moon card. So the moon card are, well, you're really going to have to observe, like this is your future energy. The moon card implies that there are things hidden, um, that you're, that we're not seeing fully, that we can't see or discern as well in the dark or in low light as we can when the sun is out. So, you know, this tower could look like, I don't know, a parking garage. You know what I mean? Like things don't appear to be what they actually are in the low light of the moon. And you're needing to observe these, these flowers and these cups are not lost out of the cups, but you're observing to see if you want to keep them in there, right? Um, there's definitely something kind of unfolding for you. Um, that's, that's a carryover from this past energy. It's not as influential. We've got really strong cards here with the world, um, indicating the end of an old cycle and the beginning of a new one. Um, the four of cups with you, um, being able to open your arms and receive what is trying to be given to you by the universe. And, um, just in general, your future energy, I would say, um, whoever this knight of wands is, is they're passionate. Um, they're coming in quickly with that, um, you know, that horse rearing up like that. And, um, 
I would just say be mindful, right? Um, you've had a heartbreak. You've had a disappointment. You're defending yourself. You're observing everything. Um, use your intuition. Your intuition will guide you and let you know everything that you need to know. Let's clarify the three of swords. Why is the three of swords in your present energy here? Oof. Wow, that's a storyline. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Let's take a peek about the three of swords. So again, the knight of wands um, came out. So whoever it is, it's involving your knight of wands. Um, probably romance because we've got the lovers here. Um, and a betrayal in romance because we've got the Ten of Swords, which is an indicator of treason or some sort of a letdown. Again, the Six of Cups. So I would say you probably had the end of a relationship and perhaps um, somebody new, younger than you is coming in and you're defending a position because you might not be ready for what it is. Um, but it's Six of Cups in the upright position. And then we have Judgment and the Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords, um, you know, new beginnings um, with clear communication. So that's always a positive when we're talking about clear communication. And am I still recording? Because my battery is about ready to go dead. It, okay, perfect. Uh, so I need to try and finish this before before I run out of battery. So what else do we want to clarify? So your three of hearts um, was, or your three of swords was, it does appear to be a heartbreak in a past relationship. What do you have for the six of cups in reverse? Clarify the six of cups in reverse. So again, the four of pentacles, the three of swords. Um, in this deck, it's charity. So perhaps you overgave and um, didn't get, didn't receive in return. Uh, the fan de bastione is the page of wands and then the emperor. So again, we have the um, four of pentacles, four of pentacles, three of swords, um, all of these came up in reverse when I pulled them out of the deck. So your emperor, your uh, page of wands, your three of swords, and your four of pentacles. Um, all in reverse imply an imbalance in this relationship. Uh, what is the intention of the knight of wands? And the imbalance in the relationship could be in your own heart and mind. Um, it took a lot of strength for you to grow through what you grew through here with this past energy. You maintained a lot of patience. A couple cards for this Knight of Wands, please. Uh, the Nine of Swords. That's the duel. Maybe it's not a past relationship and a new one. Maybe this is an old relationship just reemerging in the future or in this near future energies and you're protecting your heart from it. Maybe it's not an energy that's been completely left. And the six of swords and the three of cups in reverse. The three of cups in the upright is constancy or consistency. Um, Again, this is the Tarot of the Gnomes, so the meanings are a little bit different. And the um, Six of Swords is idealism. So I really always get the sense of kind of a David and Goliath here. And um, again, defending a position here. So it looks like you have a continuation of a story from your past that has energy in your current situation. And um, let's get a couple advice cards. What advice do we have 
for Pisces for the week ahead. <clears throat> You're just going to want to be mindful, Pisces, with this carrot dragon in the observe position. Um, watch behaviors. Um, people's actions speak louder than their words. Um, if their words are not in alignment with their actions, then, you know, that's that's a sign. So what is our advice for Pisces for the week ahead? What advice do we have for Pisces for the week ahead? Advice for Pisces for the week ahead. There we go. Oh, beautiful. The monarch butterfly. Digest your past. This is all about your transformation from the caterpillar to the cocoon to the chrysalis to the butterfly. And with this, this talks about the process that Monarch Butterfly goes through to become the butterfly, which is, you know, a ground dweller to a, an animal with wings, right? And butterfly comes with a blueprint, as we all do. And that blueprint within us is our highest good and our purpose. And we we intrinsically know what that is. And the caterpillar doesn't start out knowing that it's becoming a butterfly. It just does what it's supposed to do. It does what is inherent and natural to it. And it eats and eats and eats all the way up until it's done eating. And then it sheds its skin, goes into the cocoon, literally disintegrates into soup and reforms itself as the butterfly. So with that, this is the time to digest your past, to observe it with patience, and to let go, to find that childlike essence of yourself with what's really going to make you happy that the universe is offering for you, that you aren't making yourself available for it. It's time to let it all go. It does not serve you. And the butterfly you are becoming, it's not part of your blueprint. So whatever this was that, that you let go of in your past, it's time for you to become the highest essence of who you truly are. So um, di digest your past in the next week. And as you as you continue on with your life, it's it's becoming your truest and wholest self. So that is all I have for you today, Pisces. Have a beautiful week ahead and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.